the boys are going to have a lot to live up to as we take the field once again for the Hudson County Tournament Final here in Red Bull Arena in Harrison, New Jersey. Carney, their girls team, a magnificent effort to win in penalty kicks over Bayonne in an instant classic. What are their boys team going to have in store as they take on top-seeded St. Peter's Prep trying to win their first county title since 2019. Touch there from the Cardinals. Benji Silva looking to send across, and Simon Yanez steps in the way. Big situation. St. Peter's is going to throw in again with Chernikov. Into the box, looking for Carey. Zoller is there. Shot comes in on goal, and there's a save made by Alex Cruz, his first of the night. Yeah, again, Cruz right there. Andy Mayer going to try to do a half volley there, but again, Cruz is all over that Sobrio ready. He's going in towards goal. That comes to the back post. Santamaro there. They score! It's Sayuro! And Prep strikes first. Wow, the freshman once again delivering for the Marauders. Off the loose ball in the box. What a start. And Zach, the freshman Sayuro staying calm and poised inside the six and striking first for St. Peter's. This is exactly what this game was going to come down to. It was going to come down to these fouls and these free kicks. We knew this game was going to be a little bit chippy, and we knew there was going to be a lot of fouls. I said in the very beginning of the game, it's going to come down to who was able to capitalize on those opportunities. The freshmen able to stay poised, stay calm inside the box, and get St. Peter's on the board. They strike first. They strike first in the 21st minute. And Philip Sayuo, who was the hero when these two teams met for the first time this season, is the goal scorer to begin this Hudson County final. Carney looking to respond with a set piece of their own. Balls away in towards goal. Yanez there for the stop. In my opinion, that was a bad idea by Carney to shoot there. We saw what St. Peter's was able to do on their free kick. Now, I from Carney. Sayuo again in towards goal. And Alex Cruz was there. Here comes Zoller, speaking of that back line. For Salinas, right-footed shot, turned aside by Yanez. It'll be a corner for Carney, their second. Yeah, that's a good save there by Yanez. You know, the shot was going a little bit wide, so I don't know if it would have stayed out. But good, good job by Yanez, react there, and force the corner. Second save of the night for Yanez. Reed able to keep it in play for the Marauders. Sends it back in towards the middle. A shot, or actually a pass, in towards goal. That shot deflects, and it goes wide of Cruz's cage. It deflected off a couple of legs first. Oh, Andy Mayorga looked like he was lining up for a shot. Yeah. Instead, it was a pass to Christian Pereira Velasquez, and his shot attempt is blocked. And now the first corner of the half for St. Peter's. And that was a good pressure to buy the Marauders there on, on, on Solo on the back line there. For, for, getting the turnover, forcing the opportunity. Vieira with 10 seconds. Augusto Vieira going towards goal. Short hops in. It goes wide of Giannis's cage. Did not touch it. It'll be a goal kick. And that's going to do it for the first half. The freshman, Philip Sayuo, is the hero of the opening 40 for the Marauders. His 21st minute goal has put St. Peter's prep on top of Carney. 1-0 after 40 minutes. And they'll stay with Carney as they try and get it back for Zoller. Directing traffic. And the cross is made by Xavier. Out to the far side. It's Silva. Turns the corner around Kirk. Kirk's the one that goes down. We play on. Silva still with it. And Yana is able to snatch the cross out of the air. For St. Peter's just to try and pack their defensive side of the field and make things very difficult for Carney. But River creates space and sends a cross towards that back post. But Gomez missed on the header, and Yanez was there to pick it up. Yeah, I mean, this Carney, this Carney attack right now is going crazy against this Marauder back line. Just did not get his head around fast enough. But you did get the sense, Kevin, that, that Carney is just so close to getting that tying goal. Okana, who was fouled, is over the ball. Just received some pieces of strategy from Zoller. Okana towards goal, punched out by Yanez. All the way outside the 18. Carney will get on it there. It's the third save of the night from Simon Yanez. And the biggest one, yeah. Tomas Lois using his big body to try and create space. Good sliding tackle. Lois gets the cross away, and Yanez comes out to pick it up. The senior now minder doing an excellent job controlling things on the back end. It's the rocket leg of Han Zoller who stands over the ball for Carney. He's ready. His bullet in towards goal. He scores! What a shot by Hanzo. 
Han Soler delivers for the Cardinals and gets the equalizer with 16-15 to play. That one was absolutely ripped into the top left corner. Everybody in the building knew that he was going to shoot that one. He lined up to shoot it. He got ready to shoot it. He took a big lead. They brought their biggest leg in to take the shot, and he ripped that one right past the keeper. Carney finally converts on one of these set pieces, and it's Hans Zoller who delivers the equalizer for the Cardinals. And they've been pressing Kevin for the past 10 minutes. A well-deserved tying goal there for the Cardinal Cardinals. Inside the box as Zoller sends back downfield, coming out to the near post, and Yanez is there to play. Zoller service back downfield is punched near midfield by Chernikov's head. Herrera Velasquez downfield. Sayuo battling Lois. Sayuo onside. Sayuo delivers for St. Peter's. The freshman again, the Carney killer. And with 2.21 to go here in the second half, St. Peter's is back up by one. What an individual play by Phelps Sayo, using his speed, knocking off the defender, able to keep possession. And two minutes left to go. Can the Marauders hang on? 78th minute goal from Philip Sayuo. And now all St. Peter's has to do is kill off two minutes and 21 seconds and their county champs for the first time since 2019. 15 seconds remaining. It'll be a big boot downfield from Lois. Bouncing ball at midfield. Solar's on it. He'll look to turn to his right. Now with 10 seconds. He's got Carey in front of him. Solar slides one through. Santamaro breaks it up. Comes inside the 18. Two seconds left. Cleared aside by Kirk. And we have a final. St. Peter's Prep, the kings of Hudson County for the first time since 2019 as they defeat Kearney here in the Hudson County Tournament Championship game. Philip Sayuo, the freshman, the Kearney killer, delivers again for the Marauders. What a moment for St. Peter's Prep. Celebrating their student body. What a game, Kevin. What, what a finish. Philip Syro, the freshman. Been the Carney killer in that first game. Double overtime. He does it again two minutes to go to give the Marauders their first championship since 2019. St. Peter's prep two and Carney one. Sayuo's goal in the 21st minute and the 78th minute are the difference here in this match as St. Peter's Prep defeats Kearney for the second time this season. This is the 14th county championship for St. Peter's Prep. It's the fourth under head coach Josh Jantis. And again, the Marauders beat Kearney in the county final. They did it for their last championship in 2019. They do it again here in 2023 as St. Peter's Prep are your Hudson County Tournament champions. We're going to stay live down here for the trophy presentation as the Marauders have the trophy and they are going to raise it here in Harrison as they are your 2023 Hudson County Tournament champions.